Do you know the levels of radiation in your house? Is safe enough? Do you have any glassware where the gloves are nice with the green color? Or do you still have those collectible watch, the gloves are nice or the hand? Well, for that you need a Geiger counter. Because we're going to check the levels of radiation or uranium in can be stones or you can top either if it's granite or marble that's possible there's always the mineral of uranium mixed with that and you want to check the levels all right so that's what i'm going to show you that today i'm going to show you this device and let's go over now how are we doing everyone i'm dario and this is media box cnt like always we bring you the latest in technology and today, we have a device that's going to be checking the radiation levels. I've just grabbed these from Amazon. They are different models. And uh, this one's about $90. I will leave the link uh, right below this video. Because I always one that I want to go and check. And we see we do have some levels. You see, the numbers are keep moving. And that's just the radiation itself inside the house. Sometimes there is more radiation inside the house then be an outdoor because what well, the sign to have radiation so be in our side it will have some levels now what they are the safety levels well it's pretty simple why because with the package it does includes a car they let you know even even they don't have a map but they let you know the radiation level we're going to over in a second what else we give out of that so we have the usb cable type a to c and to have to navigate in a quick guide and even a nice thing just to put this away. So the unit itself is super easy to use. And the default is what they call the counts per minute. And those numbers are going to go up and down. If it's less than 50, we are super okay. Because if we look in here, 5 to 50, we are okay. Safe to handle. Then it goes from from 51 to 99 and so on, and when it gets over 2,000, well, you better run away or something. He says you should and report to the government if he has something that way, that crazy thing. The unit itself in a, it's a USB rechargeable right on the side. It does have a rechargeable battery. You don't need to replace it, but in case you can, we can do that. In the future, that's where the sensor is located. It should be like a little tube right over here. In the screen itself, and easy to navigate, you just press the button and you can change the measurements. For that, again, we're using um, counts per minute. Keep going, and then when we hit this arrow, we can look at the graphic, monitor, and a menu. Through the menu, we press power, and then press power again, and you can turn on and off the sound. By the way, it also has a voice, uh, let's call it the volume. Volume. 15. Yeah, it's empty. 15. Actually, 15. talk to you. 15. It's got 15. And you can save data. You can do configuration if you want. Also, we can go and reset, uh, factor reset. I like the screen. It has a pretty good the screen. It does have, you see the LED clinking there. It does have that particular sound that you hear on those uh, Geiger counters. The, the tr -tr -tr it will sound that way. It depends. Uh, depends. Uh, sometimes it makes a lot of noise. Depends when it gets maybe at, I think at the highest I can say here was like 35, 40. You have to do those little clicks. You see sometimes in the video games as well too. Let me show you the measurement. Yeah, so anything that's below below 50, we are super okay. Now the idea, if you are collectible on those Ukrainian glass, they grow on green. Maybe you just went to a garage sale and just got these antique glasses and then you notice you know, um, light up at night. Well, it's safety to handle. I don't know. So you want to go and check. If a higher number, you know, who knows? You know, I don't know if you should be drinking to that. People used to do it back, back in the day. They used to use it every day and it was cool. Now there are a lot of people who collect that and, and they keep it, you know, they keep it in a nice glass. So most likely it's to see there because it's a collectible, not to use it. Also the watch. And by the way, I remember my father used to have one of those things. They're pretty cool in a sense today. And they are collectibles, if you get one of those. And the interesting thing on that, I was reading, in a company in New Jersey, they hired about 70 girls back in um, 1916. See, back in the day, they didn't know much about it. 
and they used to use uh, a mix of rhinion, and I guess in a liquid format, and they used to paint the hands and the numbers. So the company thought it grows, but use the lips just to make like the pencil or the brush, make it super tiny so be able to paint that. And back in the day, it was a well-paid job. And it was something special. Nobody told you you will get sick. Eventually, later on, they figured out they figured out you're going to be dying with that. Actually, only one lady we found to 100, 102. How crazy is that? But the rest, some they just lost the tea. Some they decay like the whole part of the mouth. They have to take the whole drug. So how crazy is that, right? Imagine that you're just working and no idea for that. And they, they eventually the company got sued and closed down, and that's it's all done. But you can maybe looking around, you can lucky enough get one of those watches. It make you wonder if you're going to be wearing that. You know, maybe there is like a little bit of radiation just to handle for a little bit of look. But how about if you're going to be wearing those all the time? It will impact, I would think so, right? Or something like if you have those glassware. Make me wonder too. I mean, what happened back? when those people make the glass. So that was sometime in the 1900 when they figured out if you make the glass, it keeps that distinct thing glow a green color. And it is, it is in Ukraine with a big thing back in the day. So these people used to mix uranium with the glass. And I wonder, you know, they handle out all that by hand or handle all those things. I would think those people die, you know, high poison and uh, radiation. Even back in the day, they used to have a uh, like a li liquid form where people used to drink because it's always a tonic with something good that will cure you or that will actually kill all the bad things, which is not only that, will kill something else. Yeah, those will eventually will decay. Your body will decay. Yeah, but pretty interesting. You know, I'm going to put a picture now so you guys can see that. But it's super interesting those things out. And that happened with these things. Now, Besides that, right, we can check in the house if you have any radiation, even in the garden, the stones that can have some type of radiation. When it out, ceramic, that's another thing, by the way. So again, if you have some old ceramic, you collect ceramic, you have something from like your grandparents or grand grandparents and you've been collecting for many years for about 80, 100 years old ceramic, that's a chance to they have also radiation. Now, if that's something almost like it, maybe you have it as display and not, not to use it every day, but in case you want to go and check, and that's what you need this unit. So if you're a collectible, and if you have all these things, you love to go and get grass cells, maybe go and check it, make sure that it's okay to use, or anything else around the house that you believe they can have some type of radiation. So I think it's a cool tool to have, pretty interesting. And I like that little sound that makes this thing like just exactly like the movies. <laughs> yeah, because that's the way it works, by the way. So how we grab one of these is super simple, like I said in the beginning. It will be right below this video. Once again, I'm Dario. This is Media Boxing T. And I'll see you on another cool video with some cool, interesting device. All right, guys. Bye.